there was getting a little smoky. Is it a fourth chin? Yeah. I missed the clip. He was getting on the highway here and he was just barreling black smoke all across the highway. Heck yeah. Well, we're on route here. What do you think? How are you excited? Yeah. She's pumped. She's so excited. I can tell. She's just chomping at the bit. She cannot wait to see this thing. What we're doing right now, you know, we're, we're driving and we're gonna hopefully be picking up a super minty and pristine truck that I think you guys are gonna absolutely love. These are these are like hands down my favorite trucks ever. And I've only ever had a couple of these in my possession. So let's get this toll here taken care of and hop on the rest of the road and hopefully be grabbing this thing. Welcome to the old Pennsylvania. Let me guess, there's like another toll thing up here. Easy pass or bill, bill by mail. Two tolls since we've been into the state of Pennsylvania. Here we are. We got a five speed manual. We got a dually. We've got less than 100,000 miles on it. It is, it's beautiful. This truck's gorgeous, guys. Not only is it a 12 valve, it's a dually, it's a manual extended cab. Dude, it doesn't get, it doesn't get much better than this. This truck is literally so sick. I cannot wait to show you guys all around this thing. Right now though, we're losing like fast and we're currently in the state of Pennsylvania and I will have to catch you guys back up here in the morning. But guys, this thing is so sick. The next freaking day here and this truck is absolutely gorgeous. It's another one of those, man, like, they're just hard to freaking find. And, oh, goodness. I'll just show it to you. I'll just show it to you. This thing's freaking sick. Well, everybody, here it is. A beautiful 1997 Dodge Ram 3500 with a 12 valve Cummins and a five speed manual transmission. When you're seeing this video, the giveaway for this truck will be going live tonight alongside Rosine over there. And there will be a dual entry period to get entered to win this truck and Rosine at the same time between tonight at midnight when you're seeing this which is in just a couple hours after this video goes live between then and this Sunday April 16th every one dollar will get you 30 entries towards winning this truck and Rosine over there both trucks come with five thousand dollars in cash and it's two separate drawings, two separate winners potentially, or you could get so lucky and end up getting drawn for both. So oftentimes there's confusion between the dual entry periods of a giveaway. And sometimes people think that, oh, well it's 
you know, I don't want to enter during a dual entry period because my entries are going to get split between two trucks and I want this one or I want that one. So I'm going to wait. That's not how it works. So during the dual entry period, we're not sure if we're always going to do these, but we've been doing it because you guys seem to like it for the most part. There's always a little bit of confusion though on how it works. So right now, for example, 30 times entries are live on the website, which means every $1 you spend is going to get you 30 entries towards our current giveaway that's live. Current giveaway situation that is live at the moment is every one dollar is going to get you 30 entries towards this truck giveaway which is a separate giveaway however only between now and april 16th this sunday instead of just getting entered for one truck for every one dollar you spend you're going to get entered for two trucks sorry it's kind of windy out here it's just been so every time i film it's just super windy but essentially it's basically like you're getting 60 times entries literally so instead of just getting 30x for one truck you're getting 30x for this one and 30x entries for the red one right there as well which is my wife's previous truck her 2002 24 valve cummins and so it's essentially like 60 times entries basically because you're getting 30x towards both trucks not just 30x split in two between them you're getting 30x for both so it's actually like our mega best craziest like if you don't enter during this time like you're missing out on legitimately the best time to enter to win a truck from us because you're getting 30X for two vehicles for the price of one order or as many orders as you want to place. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. It's pretty sick. However, of course, like our previous giveaways, this giveaway for this truck does not end on Sunday. Just the dual entry period to get entered for Rosine and this one is going to end on Sunday. However, this giveaway right here does have a different deadline from Rosine. But if you're going to try to get entered for Rosine over there, it is your flat out last chance to get entered to win that truck. It ends this Sunday and then the giveaway for that truck is forever gone and you'll never get another chance to win that truck. 1997 Dodge Ram 3500 with the 12 valve Cummins as I showed you under the hood in that dramatic, super sick uh, video clip there. Just trying to get the crazy dramatic shots for you guys. You know, some of you guys like them, some of you guys hate them, but yeah, it's all good. Little backstory on this truck and I'll try to go through it as descriptive without making it boring. And please bear with me if it's windy. I can't control the wind, unfortunately. The truck originally came out of Arizona and it was used by an older gentleman who actually had ordered the truck brand new from factory and he used it to pull a gooseneck horse trailers around time to time to pull a horse trailer around for events for his family, his wife or whatever. And so that's basically, that's mainly what the truck was used for, for 90% of its life. Just a handful of years ago, however, it was sold to a gentleman in Maryland who kept it only a couple years and it was then sold to the guy that I bought it off of in Pennsylvania who basically only put like 5,000 miles on it in the last couple of years and didn't really drive it much because he was worried about messing it up in Pennsylvania weather, which I don't blame him. This might be the lowest second gen we have ever purchased and hands down the lowest mileage 12 valve second gen we've ever purchased ever. Like I said, truck was always kept in Arizona for the most part until the last few years. And even in the last few years, it was very well maintained, fluid filmed frame coatings. Um, everything underneath was blasted with fluid film to keep it from rusting out. And this thing shows, I mean, it's super, super clean. This truck was actually almost purchased by Gateway Motor Car is what the guy told me. But he said they did not want it because of a couple of things that they didn't like, which was like aftermarket badges on the rear, which I'll get to those in a minute. And the fact that the truck was repainted at some point how old is this thing 26 years old 26 27 years old i mean to find one of these trucks that's never been repainted especially if sitting in arizona sun a lot of times it's just kind of hard to find but the fact that it's still all the original body panels with no rust anywhere the backs of the rockers are spotless inners outers cab corners fenders on the inside and outside everything is spotless there's no rust behind any of the flaps or anything i mean it is clean yeah they called they were super interested and then once we told them it was repainted that the previous owner told me it was a repainted truck and it had a couple of you know just odd aftermarket things on it that they were not so fond of they said that they would have to pass on it uh which i get it they're looking for a very very specific truck to sell to people for extremely high dollar i mean it's got to be the perfect truck for that kind of application and of course this truck as you can see is completely bone stock the only things that it's had done other than basic maintenance and replacing like the shocks on it and stuff like that. It's got these aftermarket badges on the back, which I'm not necessarily a fan of. You guys can let me know what you guys think. They at least measured them all out and like 
made sure everything was centered. It's just preference. I personally don't care for them, but in the same token, I also don't know if I want to rip them off and chance ripping paint off of the tailgate of the truck, depending on whether those were put on before it was repainted or after. It's always just a little bit risky removing those types of things and like body moldings and stuff like that, because there's a good chance you remove that body molding. <laughs> it might rip some of the paint off you know what i mean but other than that in exhaust work the truck is pretty much completely stock it does have a four inch exhaust with a muffler there is a muffler under there it sounds really really good like i said it's the original body panels on the truck there are a couple of holes drilled through there where they had side steps on at one point um you know old guy stuff old guy truck stuff but like I said, if you look at the backs of the rockers, um, other than some of the factory paint being chipped off and stuff, the backs of the rockers have zero rust. The cab mounts, back of the cab corners, nothing. I mean, there's no rust on the truck. It's it's spotless and clean of any kind of rust. I'm trying to block this wind for you here. It's kind of brutal out here right now. There is the exterior of this truck, and I will go on the inside here and show you some stuff. Here's the old dash, the old gauge cluster there, 99,343. My hopes are that I do not roll it over 100,000 miles until the winner of the truck is here to do that him or herself. But look at this interior, other than there's a little bit of dirt. It needs to be wiped off that club box over there. But I mean, it's other than a little bit of carpet stains here and there, which can probably be shampooed out. We'll probably try to do that here soon. Uh, for the most part, this thing is so clean, guys. Super, super clean. You can see the headliners just got a couple little tiny wrinkles there in a spot. You know, it is 27 years old, but for the most part, it's not like drooping down and flapping in the wind. I mean, it's, it's pretty stinking nice. There's the back seat. There's the side panels back there. I mean, it's a clean old truck. They're not power seat options. They are the full manual configuration all the power options work trucks obviously off right now but everything works it does have a trailer brake controller with all the wiring back through there it's a reese trailer brake controller it is a four-wheel drive truck four-wheel drive does work I locked it up last night it does work i mean there's nothing on the truck that doesn't work which is which is one of the big reasons why i love the thing so much and in terms of the interior other than the brake controller the radio is the only aftermarket thing and it's an old aftermarket unit but it does work it does have aux dvd radio all that stuff and everything works heat and ac do work i tested them both on the way back because on half the trip back it was 70 degrees and then by the time i finally got closer to home it was down to 45 degrees last night so i got to try out both and they both worked excellent which i'm super happy with cruise control does work it was almost four hours of driving so the cruise did come in handy cruise excel didn't even have to be aggressive with the buttons just a little tap tap and everything worked just like it's supposed to and your fan and vent selection modes do work also i mean everything works in the interior so you can choose anything you want and they all work just like they're supposed to versus i know again a lot of times you get these trucks and not everything works and they're stuck on defrosted feet or they're stuck on only front facing vents. I mean, there's always something. Get you a little side shot of this big booty Judy. Thing is gorgeous. Thing is gorgeous. Walk over here and get you a little bit different view here. Comment down below. I want you to take your guesses. I'm not going to tell you yes or no necessarily, but I want you to take your guesses on what you think this truck is worth or what you think I had to pay to get it. Based on your area and where you're from, 99,348 or 84 miles, under 100,000 miles, 12 valve, five speed manual. Every option on the truck works like it's supposed to, no rust, four wheel drive. What would this truck sell for? local to you so comment where you're from and how much a truck like this would probably go for in your area i know around here they're not cheap i keep setting a new record on how much i've spent on a second gen this i'm pretty confident is now the most expensive second gen i have ever purchased hands down the second most was probably <laughs> my my wife's actually now that i think about it but this is probably the most expensive second gen we have ever purchased now i'm gonna start this thing up because of course you guys don't want to come all the way over here to the old 
YouTube here and not get a startup of this thing, right? Pop it into neutral. You can see the radio works. I was jamming out to some 80s all the way home last night. Again, trucks are neutral. I'm not gonna get in because my boots are covered in mud. She starts great. And that was of course with no feathering the throttle or anything. I didn't give it any fuel. That was just pushing the clutch in with my hand and turning the key. You like that, huh? Dude. I, just, I heard it purring from inside, so I was like, I gotta come out. And get right. Out. They better enter for this thing, bro. Dude. I, I told them, I it. told them this is hands down the most expensive second gen I've ever bought now. Oh, I think yeah. it's a new record. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever paid that much for a second gen before. I think oh. the second most expensive one was either Reagan's truck or the Black Dually. Yeah. But this is definitely the most expensive so, one. When you told me how much it was, I'm like, there's no way you're buying that. It's also the lowest mileage second gen we've ever had, yep. dude. And it's the it's the best one. Five speed, manual transmission, twelve out Cummins, bro. Five speed manual, twelve out Cummins second gen, dually, four wheel drive. These guys are nuts not to enter with this thing. Should we tell them that we're going to leave it completely stock and not do anything to it? I don't know if we should tell them that right now. They're going to be horribly, horribly upset when they realize we're doing absolutely nothing to the truck at all. So they definitely should not watch the next video because there's nothing coming to change. No, nothing. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing anything to it. No, so exactly so don't watch the next video because we're going to do a lot of nothing to the truck and it's going to look the exact same <laughs> no but in all seriousness you better watch the next video because we're going to try to have everything done on this truck in one video and it's going to be literally so sick um stay tuned i think you guys are going to really like it And of course, yes, when it starts up, there's a little white haze for the first 20 seconds, and then it clears up. It's a 12 valve, bro. That is gonna be it for the idling session with this old girl. Super freaking pumped about this thing, guys. Actually, when you see this, it's gonna be like, I think a week or later than a week after I'm filming it. So that's what I mean by we're gonna have everything, I believe everything done to this truck in the next video that you see here on YouTube. Everything should be done to it. I want you also to take your guesses in the comments below. First off, what would you do to this truck if it were your truck? What would you do to it? How would you spec it out? But not only that, then guess what do you think we're gonna do to it? But when I got this thing, I immediately hopped online and ordered everything I wanted to see on this truck and got it out of the way and I'm so freaking excited. But until that next video guys, in the meantime, leave your likes, leave your comments, subscribe if you have not done so yet, stay tuned and let me know also, not only are you gonna see a lot of cool stuff in the next video, but what exactly would you like to see us do to this truck while we have it? What kind of content would you like us to film with it? Any kind of things under the hood you'd like to see us do with this thing to film some content with? Would you like to do a 24 valve versus 12 valve like side-by-side -side thing type video? You let us know in the comment section below and we'll do our best to bring that to you guys. Thanks so much for all the love and all the support and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to get entered. Fuel entry is only until Sunday.